Alrighty, guys, we have a game to 100% today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 39 of Python Drum. Guys, we're on the penultimate episode, and today is the episode of 100 percenters. Not only are we going to get our final achievement done here, which is simply to deliver head pats to a town pet. We are also going to 100% cleanse the entire world, rid all corruption and hallow here. Today is going to be a mega-sode. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, enjoy, smash that like rating if you're excited for the episode, and ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with 100%ing every single achievement in Terraria. We need to find the zoologist, ladies and gents. Let's do it. Oh, and she's literally here. Hey, Lizzie, how's it hanging? Cat license, dog license, bunny license. I mean, I'm going to go for cat. We're going to have ourselves a kitty cat, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a fantastic time. Summons a vault bunny. Oh, right, yeah, we've already got him. Look, he's down there. Little, little gold Pikachu bunny. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Maybe it's daytime when the little pets roam around the little town area, huh? All right, well, here we are. It's daytime now, and I would assume that the kitty cat would come in at some point. Wait, can we have all three of these? What happens if I use a dog license and a bunny license? Okay, so that now removes them from the store. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. We're about to have all three pets, a bunny, a dog, and a cat. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting, we could go ahead and begin on some zenith grinding. We have the seedler, the star wrath, and also the influx waiver to get. All of the other swords are here. Seven out of ten of them. So, the Seedler, of course, is grabbed from Plantera. And, well, defeating Plantera shouldn't be that much of a hassle. Tilly the cat has arrived. <gasps> oh, my God. Hello. Hi. Uh, pet. Yeah! <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Oh, all right. Achievements. Every single one is done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. When I really let that sink in, it's, uh, it's quite amazing. It is not very often at all that I completely 100% a game with all of its achievements. Literally, not even Minecraft have I ever 100%ed it with every single advancement. Oh, man. This is fantastic, guys. Every single achievement in Terraria is done now. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here's hoping that RNG is on our side for once, because if it isn't, then this is going to be an almightily pain-in-the-butt process, because farming up Plantaria is not one of the easiest things to do, because, of course, it requires you to try and find a whole bunch of Plantaria bulbs, doesn't it? Kitty the dog has arrived? Wait. That's illegal! Jazz the bunny has also arrived. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's a cute little name, isn't it? I love it. All right, ladies and gents. Well, there is a Plantera bulb here, but it is a little distance away. But I tell you what, we'll see what we can do here. Come on, then, you son of a gun. Come on. Here you come. Come on. Keep through going. Keep through going. That's it. We just need to get... Oh, she's doing a lot of damage to me, actually. I don't much like that. Come on, bud. You're being very slow about this, aren't you? Come on. Over you come. There we go. Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay. Ah! Spiky balls. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. I feel like it's been an age since I've actually taken on a boss. I know. My episodes have been a bit sparse lately, but they haven't been that bleeding sparse. Holy crap, man. If I lost that, I think I would have just had to retire, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm pretty sure it went into the void bag. Yep, there it is. Opening it up, we have ourselves the flower pal. Okay, did we have that already? I don't know. Then it's a gentleman, planter number two. All right, well, this time we're going through the freaking lizard temple. Uh, I mean, to be honest, that shouldn't be too difficult, right? Come on, Plantera. Good freaking lord, are you slow. All right, come on in. Oh, yeah, Phantasm doing the job. Like an absolute boss. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. And you're dead. There you go. Good-o. Right. Seedler. Uh, wait. What did I just do there? Boom. 
Uh, Thornhawk. The axe? Oh, mate. That's kind of cool, actually. Nice. All right. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> In terms of the weapon, though, we got ourselves a wasp gun. Not entirely useful to our cause, but hey-ho. Wait, I just realized... I have a Plantera chest, and if it's in there, then I'm a colossal idiot. Okay, no, I'm not a colossal idiot. Yay! I like not being a colossal idiot. Alrighty, guys, should we do a little bit of contaminating? I think that'd be a nice idea, huh? Yeah, I mean, we've already got three columns done here. We just need to get a whole bunch more done, don't we? So, a little bit of a pit stop to the steampunker, so we can buy ourselves a ton more of this stuff. There we are. In fact, let's go for two stacks, shall we? My goodness. My hard-earned money. Going to work right there, my friends. Oh, big ouchies. You know what? Actually, there's an easier way of doing this. Maybe we grab ourselves a mining potion or two. That'll certainly make the process a whole bunch quicker. Obviously, a DCU would also be very nice, but I'm trying to prioritize the Luminite bars for our little armor sets, right? So, yeah. Anyway, buff potions. Uh, mining potions. Where are they? Holy mackerel! We have 30 plus of them. Wait, 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 wait. What if we get ourselves the ancient chisel out as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the bricklayer. Ancient chisel, question mark? Uh, okay. Maybe we don't have an ancient chisel. How is that possible? Ooh, beautiful glowy moss. I love it. <laughs> All right, shaft dug out. It is cleansing time. All the way up to the surface, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's a satisfying sight, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, today we're going to be re-answering the question, what happens when you fully cleanse your world? Obviously, this is going to take a long time in today's episode, which is partly why there's been such a delay since the last episode. But believe you me, guys, this is worth it. To finally answer that question, this is going to be worth it. Believe me. Ah, crap. I left the freaking shafts a little bit too wide in between. You can see there's a pretty distinct black area in between on the mini-map there. Ah, darn it. Hey, guys, ever seen sand fall all the way from the surface all the way down to hell? Huh? You ever seen that happen before? Bye! <laughs> That's literally just gone all the way down to the underworld, guys. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So that entire section has been done, but I think I need to be a little bit more methodical with my cleansing here. What I'm going to do is quickly look up on the wiki just how far the stretch of the contaminator is. And then what I should be able to figure out from there is just how many units on our compass here we need to go in order to maximize the effectiveness of our cleansing here. So give me a sec. I'll see if I can calculate this. All right, guys. So according to the wiki, the contaminator has a reach of 60 blocks. Now, each block, I believe, is two units on the compass, right? So make that 120 times that by two, because obviously you do either side of the shaft. And all of that basically means we need to go 240 units along each time, okay? So we need to do 3,364 minus 240 and then do another shaft and then really see if that's the case all right so 3124 is 240 units along in terms of our compass so this next shaft i'm digging should be absolutely perfect in terms of the contaminator getting the perfect amount of range so 3364 minus 240 is 3124 right so here we are Going over to the 3124 column. There we go. And then all we've got to do is go all the way back up. Now, annoyingly, there is still a black section in between. But as you can see, the contaminator is going far beyond the screen here. Right? So, yeah. It might actually still be doing the job. At least I certainly hope so, anyway. We'll go ahead and check this out in just a second. In fact, let's just do the whole zoom out thing. There we are. Yeah, look at just how far that is actually reaching. I think it's just the mini-map which is limited in terms of its range, in terms of what you can see. Oh, well, that's not annoying at all, is it? We've got a plant terrible directly in our way. Um... Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to sort of kind of do something about it, aren't we? <laughs> well, that's not annoying at all. 
Oh, all right, come on then. Where are you, you freaking son of a butthole? I need you to come down here so I can pwn your butt. Come on. What? Oh, she just despawned. She was right next to me. She was like literally here and she despawned. Wow, what a wuss. So here we are, guys. We've got a bit of a system. We dig out the next shaft. Then we go down the previous shaft, contaminating, And then we go up the shaft that we just dug, contaminating the left-hand side, right? And then, yeah, that kind of means that there's no chance of any blocks in the middle spreading, right? So, yeah. I think we've got a good little system going on here. See, look, even when fully zoomed out, the contaminator still goes way off camera to the left there, doesn't it? Man! You know, I must have done a miscalculation somewhere, because as you can see with the two shafts we just dug out, there is no black space in between. However, there is black space here. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Is it because I zoomed out? I think at that point I zoomed out. Ah. Ah, it's gonna take a long time, isn't it? So the next one is going to be 2644. So here we are going to 2644 uh, Which is here and then we dig up. Alrighty guys Well, yep, here we are doing another shaft and I think at the end of the day All I'm gonna do here is just grind this thing out It is not gonna be the most interesting thing to watch in the entire world. So I tell you what I'm pretty much just gonna get on with it. Ah crap. I was eviscerated by a bee. <laughs> of all the things. <laughs> Late hard mode. A bee kills me. <laughs> One tip I do have for you guys is when you do go ahead and dig out all of the shafts here, always do it from the bottom going up. Because even when you do come across lava, you could just sort of fly up through it and take less damage than if you were to go down into the lava. You see? Oh, that's interesting. How did I not know that already? I always thought that the mushroom biome would just sort of stay as is, but no, it actually gets overcome with something else. Oh, an unholy trident. You know what? I actually don't have that. I'm a nab that. Thanks. Appreciate you. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure it gets reverted back to, what, a jungle? I think. Oh man, there's freaking obsidian everywhere. Get out of here. All right, let's have a look. So, is it? It goes back to being a jungle? Is that jungle grass? I can't tell. I can't tell whether that's jungle grass or regular grass. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, crap. Well, I really wasn't paying attention there, was I? What a pointless death that was. Yeah, I don't have my uh, anti-falling accessories on, huh? Well, I mean, it's probably a good idea if I do that, isn't it? <laughs> lava, lava, go away. Please don't come back another day. For goodness sake, it flows so slowly. <laughs> I feel like I'm spending half my time just freaking waiting, dude. Ah, I could literally make a cup of tea in less time than it takes for all of this to drain out. In fact, you know what? I might just do that. Ah, screw this, man. I'm getting obsidian skin potions. I'm tired of waiting now, bro. Really? You're giving me a solar eclipse while I am trying to cleanse the world. Well, once again, that just sums up Terraria in a nutshell, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this game is really trying to get on my nerves today, isn't it? Well, I'm not gonna let it. It's not happening. I'm in too much of a good mood. We've 100% of the game, for God's sake. Guys, come on. Uh, can I do this? Yes, I can. Good! Alrighty, guys. I'm happy to say that we're at the halfway point now. Half of the entire world is completely cleansed. Oh, baby. Well, I've been recording for about 90 minutes now. So judging by that, it will probably be another hour, hour and a half to get this entire side cleansed here. Now, obviously, I am well aware that I could have maybe tried and gotten the ancient chisel. Maybe I'll get myself the Shremite digging claws. Both of those would probably make this freaking thing way quicker. Or, you know, of course, the DCU. But, yeah, I kind of don't really want to grind for them. I kind of want to just get this done. I want to get this series done so we can tick it off the list and then move on to another one, my friends, because this isn't the final Terraria series, guys. There's still way more Terraria content to come. I know I haven't been that consistent lately. Lately, but you know when you get to the end game of Terraria things get very very grindy Whoa! Look at how much cleansing is taking place on the right hand side of the map there, dude It's going from being a pinky purple 
to a very yellow yellow. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that is the entire desert biome, including the anthill underneath. Done. Yeah. Feels good, man. Feels good. So that last one was 956. As you can see here, we now need to go to 1196. You know what? I hate to hold out on you guys, but this is taking such a long time that I don't think I'm going to get the Zenith done in today's episode. I think the Zenith is very much a finale type weapon. So at the start of episode 40, the finale of Python's Realm here, we are going to be grinding for the Zenith. We're going to be going ahead taking down Plantera, and then grinding out Martian Madness and Moon Lord to get the remaining weapons required for the beautiful Zenith. Dude, look at the world, though. We're about three quarters done now, guys. Oh, man, it feels so weird being able to see, like, the entire world and all of its nooks and crannies. Woo! Man, look at it. Lizzie and Darren are throwing a party, huh? Hey, all right. Getting a little bit of pre-party going, are we? For the little, you know, 100% cleansed world dealio, right? I mean, that's a celebratory worthy cause, right? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be so surprised if we still don't get anything for 100% cleansing our world. I was really surprised to find out that we didn't get anything when it was like 1.3.5, which was the last time we went ahead and completely cleansed the world. So I'm really hoping that there's a little something at the end of the tunnel for us here, ladies and gents, because if not, I'm going to be incredibly sad, because obviously Terraria isn't being updated anymore. Vanilla Terraria anyway. So come on. Come on, devs. Give me at least a little something for having gotten all this done and making the effort to get it all done. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 desert tiger. No, I am not taking down the lunatic cultists in the middle of me trying to cleanse the world. No. Yeah. Be gone, normal corruption biome. Bye bye, corruption chasms. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we've literally only probably got maybe two, three, maybe four shafts more. And that is it. The world is entirely cleansed. All right. Time to stock up for the last time on green solution. Oh, yeah. Guys, we have spent so many platinum coins on cleansing our world. It is actually kind of bonkers. Like, you don't even want to know, man. <laughs> But has it been worth it to go ahead and get our freaking world completely cleansed? I mean, hell yeah, man. Like, why would you not want to do that? <laughs> I just realized all of this means that we're almost certainly going to wind up completely draining the right-hand side ocean as well. Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh-oh! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen! The ocean! Goodbye, buddy! Oh, no! Goodbye, ocean! It's been nice knowing you. It really has been. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, digging out the final shaft. As you can see, I myself am behind all of that text on the right-hand side there. <laughs> so this is going to be a little bit strange, isn't it? So i got to be honest, I've genuinely got no idea if we do actually get something for 100% cleansing our world in 1.4. So I'm going into this completely blind. However, if whatever we get isn't like immediately noticeable, I'll probably wind up researching it on the wiki just so we can confirm, you know, once and for all whether or not there is actually something you get for 100% cleansing your world. So, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. I'm nervous for if there's nothing, because come on, there's got to be, right? Bye, ocean, again. Oh, God, look at it. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. It's such a depressing sight, that is. <laughs> this has been an almighty ordeal to undertake, ladies and gentlemen. But just to say that we've done it, it's been worth it. It really, really has been, ladies and gents. I'm so excited to see if we get something. Oh, man, it feels like the end of an era. It's weird, isn't it, that doing this feels like the end of an era. 
a 100% cleansed world. It's not often that it happens, is it, guys? It just isn't. All right, well, we are very, very almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We will pop over to the dryad because I would imagine, logically speaking, that would be where, you know, if we do manage to get something, I think that's who we're going to get it from. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are, a 100% cleansed world, or what I would assume to be a 100% cleansed world because we haven't gone ahead and talked to the dryad just yet, have we? Let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god, here we are. Status. What? Uh, that can't be right. Oh, there's no way that's right. Maybe we need to re-log and then the world uh, status thing is correct. I certainly hope so because there's no way in hell that's right. Surely. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out again. Status. Oh, no. No, it's not. There's still little bits around. Is there like a, an, an island with them on? I don't know where the corruption and hollow bits are. Oh, no. Uh, uh, oh, 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 what's going on here? Why is this here? All right, come on, baby. There's a tiny amount of corruption on the left of the map there, but that has now been purified. All right, I am going to have to try and, like, scam this entire thing just to see if there's actually any hallow or anything around. All right, okay, so that's not been overcome with anything. Wait, 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 I'm not the only one seeing that, right? Yeah, look at that. The sky sort of fades. Could it be the meteorite? No, I don't think that changes the color. Oh, do you know what? It's got to be this, right? If I was to go ahead and get rid of these. Ah, yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? Okay, so the sky is, in fact, normal. Right. I don't know where the corruption is. I don't know where the hollow is. I don't know. Okay, that's not been overcome with anything either. And nor has this island. And that's the last island as well. What? Oh, dude, I'm so confused right now. Where the devil is the corruption and freaking hollow then? I don't know. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it, man? Right, I have a theory. Because I was going ahead and digging up from the bottom, what that means is there's potentially, like, ebon sand and pearl sand at the bottom just waiting to be mined up. Hey, see, look at this. I mean, that's just regular sand, but it could have been ebon sand or pearl sand, right? All right, what is this? Ebon sand! Yeah! All right, good! Okay, our working hypothesis is definitely in effect here. And I just came to the realization that some of the ebon sand or pearl sand might have fallen into the lava, right? So I've had to bring along some obsidian skin potions to see what's going on. So ash, silt, sand. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Ah, see, check it out. Pearl sand. <laughs> so we've come across both pearl sand and ebon sand. All right. My theory is looking very, very good right about now, isn't it, ladies and gents? Oh, look at that. One big last hurrah, huh? A ginormous pile of ebon sand. All right. Holy crap, that goes down a long way. I mean, of course, that did come from the ocean, didn't it? And that was completely corruptified. All right. Well, as far as I know, that's about it, ladies and gents. Once again... Clearing out the inventory, we'll see if we have ourselves a 100% cleansed world. The moment of truth. Do we have a 100% cleansed world? What? No, 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 no. How? No. How is that? How's that possible? Where else could it be? Oh, wait, hang on a bit. There's a purple patch there. That's a very distinct purple patch. Okay, so that's one little patch that needs taken care of. So there's a hollow patch somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure where. I literally am just scanning in between every single freaking thing. All right, there's a little purple patch there as well. Okay. All right, so patch number one. There's a little purple bit down here. Yoink! Not anymore, sucker! Guys, I'm gonna get this done. I am. I'm gonna get this done, all right? Believe me. All right, is that patch taken care of? It looks like it. Okay, it was around there. 
was being the operative word. I think we're okay. There's another patch down here, though. All right, come on, baby. Come on. All right, believe it or not, the small patch of hallow is literally here. Right. Any more hallow for any more hallow. All right, so there's a couple patches in the ocean there and one patch over in the actual corruption. All right, well, let's get them sorted. Yeah, look at that. No, sir. No. All right, let's check it out. All right, that is definitely gone this time. <laughs> okay, let's check out this area. Okay, looking okay. Right, definitely not seeing any purple there, right? You guys are with me here. You can't see any purple. All right, so let's get that all there. All right, and as far as I know, that's it. Okay, as far as I know, boom. How? How is it still that? How? How is that the case? Tell me how. Why? Uh, to say that this is a time-consuming process is the understatement of the century. As you can see, I'm now zooming in like pretty full on just so I can see if I can spot any freaking purple patches. Wow, this really is an uphill battle. We're actually re the freaking ocean again. Seriously, how many more times do I have to do this freaking thing before the corruption gets the message? You're not welcome! I swear it just regenerates, man. I absolutely swear blind. Like, there's no way in heck that I'm just going ahead and missing out a block or two. And that's just enough to freaking spread an entire patch. I mean, clearly it is enough to spread an entire patch. Which is very annoying for our objective here. But there we are. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, right. So there is still a tiny bit just over here. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't reach it here. All right. Again, checking it out. No purple. I'm not seeing a single bit of purple there. There's a couple bits of purple over here. And what I believe, again, to be the final patch. If it isn't the final patch, then I'm at a loss. All right. Come on. Come on. We may have to relog, but we'll go ahead and check things out anyway. Status. Right. Let's relog and have a look again. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, Tatiana. Let's have this thing. I'm... Ah, this is just... This is really starting to get my nerves. I mean, I always knew this was going to be a tall objective, but I swear I didn't have this much trouble on my 1.3.5 series, man. Seriously. Come on. Yes! Finally! <laughs> we did it, guys! Holy mackerel, that actually took freaking hours, man. I never want to do this again, I swear to God. Python's Realm is completely pure. You have done an amazing job. Fantastic. Okay, well, if we do get something, it's not, like, immediately presenting itself to me. Uh... Huh. Okay, well, I'm not noticing anything in here either. Right, uh, zoologist. Do you have anything new? No. What? Okay. Hmm. I may need to look through the wiki then. There's no way there's nothing. There's no way that in 1.4 they didn't add something. Something! At least! Forgetting a 100% pure world. Well, guys, unfortunately, not even the wiki can shed any light as to whether or not you actually get something in 1.4 for 100% cleansing your world. If it is truly the case that you don't get a single thing for 100% in your world in terms of cleansing it, then I've got to be honest, I'm incredibly disappointed, man. I literally just spent hours doing all this and just nothing. Are you serious? Come on, man. You should get at least something, maybe like a pet or some special item or something. I don't know. Just something for my hard work. You know? I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm genuinely sad. And now that Terraria isn't being updated anymore, there's no chance at all, is there? That there's going to be anything added for that task. Ah. Oh, well. It's a disappointing end, but ladies and gentlemen, once again, answering the question, what happens when you 100% cleanse your world in 1.4? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you get. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's penultimate episode here of Python's Run, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But next episode is going to be the finale, guys. We're going to start off by making the zenith, and then we're going to use that zenith, and then we're going to use that zenith to get the remaining celestial armor, and then we can call the series complete and move on to another one. Oh yeah. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for all of your support and especially your patience. I do truly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the finale.